everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Jones and today I have some great and easy Thanksgiving sides and a main dish that you can make for the holiday. So Thanksgiving is coming right up here in the US and it is normally a time where we have really large gatherings of family and friends um, get together and have a big feast. But I know that in a lot of parts of the world, including here in the US where we celebrate Thanksgiving, we are being encouraged to not gather in large gatherings um, for obvious reasons. So if you are having a small gathering, which I will be with my family, it's just the three of us this year, um, these are perfect because they're not like huge meals that you're going to be serving a lot of people So you're not going to have a ton of leftovers that you have to worry about eating later Sure, there might be a little bit of leftovers, but that's all right um, There are delicious recipes that you can look forward to having for lunch um, the next day or within the next week after Thanksgiving if you are having a larger gathering you can always just double or even triple the recipe. Um, it's really easy to do, but I'm making smaller portions this time because like I said, it's just the three of us and I don't want to have a ton of leftovers, especially because I'm going to be doing some more cooking for the actual holiday. Our main dish is tofu cutlets. They are breaded and crispy and I've made a really great vegan gravy to go on top of it. and. This is something you can make anytime, not just for Thanksgiving, not just for the holidays, but for a special meal anytime. They are delicious. I'm also making some yummy pesto stuffed mushrooms and some brown rice stuffing that you are going to love. So before we get into the recipes, just remember that if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave a comment. You know, all of these things really help my channel grow and I am a very small channel right now and can use all the extra help I can get. So please do those things and I really appreciate you and I give thanks to you on this special holiday. So without any further ado, let's get into the recipes. The first recipe today will be for the pesto stuffed mushrooms. These make a really great side dish or appetizer and they are stuffed with this delicious vegan pesto. I've shown this a couple of times on my channel already and the recipe is on my blog at vegerarchy.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. This time we are combining our basil with spinach and you can use kale or chard instead or a combination of all three. They all work really well in this recipe. I added four cloves of garlic here, but that just depends on how much garlic you like in your pesto. I also added some toasted walnuts, vegan Parmesan cheese, and some nutritional yeast. I also added the juice from half of a fresh squeezed lemon. I also added a little pinch of salt and you could also add some red chili flakes here, but I forgot to do that this time. And of course, we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. Then I'm just blending that up in my food processor. And sometimes the mixture tends to be a little bit dry and doesn't move around properly. So what you can do is just add a little more olive oil while it's blending and that will give you a really nice texture. Doesn't that look gorgeous? It is delicious. So moving on to our mushrooms, I'm just giving them a quick wash under the faucet and then we're going to pat them dry with a cloth because we don't want them to have too much moisture. Alternatively, you could just wipe them clean with a cloth or a paper towel. Then we're going to start de-stemming them, but don't throw the stems away. And oops, <laughs> I got a broken one there. I did manage to save it and use it later. But um, yeah, you wanna get the stems out and be careful when you're doing it so that you don't break them like I did with that other one. But don't throw them away, set them aside because we are going to chop them up and use them in our stuffing mixture. Look, 
This one's twins. Interesting. Sometimes some of the stem gets stuck in there, so I just took a knife and carefully removed the rest of the stem because we do want to have a nice empty cavity in the center of the mushroom. Now I'm going to chop those mushroom stems into tiny pieces. They are going to be part of the stuffing, so we do want small pieces, but don't worry about them being super tiny because for one thing, they will cook down and then they are going to go into the food processor for just a second and that will get them to the consistency where we can stuff them in the mushrooms. Next, we're also going to be using this Italian uh, tofurkey sausage or whatever kind of sausage you can find in the stores. I just particularly like the tofurkey brand and they have a really good deal on it at Trader Joe's. So if you can get your hands on some of this, this is a good way to go. Again, I'm just chopping it into small pieces and then that is going to go into the pan with the mushrooms and they're going to cook down for a little bit and then we will um, pulse them a little bit in the food processor. When you put your mushrooms in the pan, you want to spread them out a little bit because they do need some room when they're cooking. And I did add a little bit of oil later on. I forgot to do it at the beginning. Um, so I'm just adding it now. And then I'm going to add that sausage and we're just going to mix that together and let it cook for about five minutes. Once our mixture has cooked for a few minutes, we're going to add that back into the food processor and we're just going to pulse that a few times. Then we're going to add some breadcrumbs and a half cup of our vegan pesto. Put the lid on and pulse it again, just enough to let it blend together. So here's what our mixture looks like. It is a little bit crumbly, but man, this stuff is really tasty. Um, I think it's going to be really good on pizza. I have tried it on toast, which was really good, and it would probably be great with pasta or even in a tofu scramble. Mm, I think I'm gonna have to try that one. But anyway, I'm just stuffing it right into the center of those mushrooms, kind of pushing it down, making sure it fills the whole cavity. So I'll just stuff all those, and when they're ready, I'm going to put them into a baking dish and as you can see, I added a little bit of vegan Parmesan cheese on top. I don't know what happened to the footage of me putting that on there, but there we go. Um, just getting them all lined up. And then we're just going to add a half a cup of water to the bottom of the pan. This just helps cook the mushrooms without them drying out. So then we'll just cover that with foil and it goes into a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. Then you take the foil off, cook for another 10 minutes, and then I ended up putting them under the broiler for about five minutes to get a little crispy on top. Next up is our tofu cutlets with vegan gravy. We're going to start by pressing out our tofu just a little bit. I'm not gonna put anything heavy on them like books or a pan or anything like that. You just wanna gently squeeze it to get some of the excess moisture out. So you can see here that I'm using the type of tofu that comes in two smaller blocks. Um, but if you want to use just one larger block, that's fine. You just want to make sure that you end up with eight pieces in total. And when you're pressing it, be really gentle because you could see that that tofu got a little bit crumbly. I may have pressed it a little too hard. But you just want to cut these into little flat rectangular shapes and put those in a baking dish and then we will make our marinade. For this marinade, I squeezed half of a large orange into my measuring cup. It ended up being about a quarter cup of orange juice. Then I added a quarter cup of tamari, some poultry seasoning, some onion powder, and some garlic powder. 
I also added just a little bit of sesame oil. This just gives it a really nice flavor. And then I just whisk that all together with a fork. Then I'm just going to add the marinade to the tofu, making sure that it's covered on all sides. So I did flip over those ones on top to make sure that they get covered with the marinade. And then we're just going to cover the pan and put it in the refrigerator for at least two hours, but you could make this to the day before and let it marinate overnight. So now we're moving on to another marinade. This is going to be for our brown rice stuffing. So I'm starting with some better than bouillon. This is the garlic based flavor and adding some hot water just to get that dissolved. Next, I'm adding some grated orange peel and I am using an organic orange for this, which I highly recommend. And then I'm just going to add the cranberries to that and let that soak while we make our rice mixture. So I'm starting out with about four stalks of celery. This would be about a cup or so of sliced celery. And then we're going to do the same thing with some scallions. I'm adding some nice fresh thyme and you just remove the leaves from the stem by running your finger along, but you might get some little tiny bits of stem in there. That's okay because it's all just going to get chopped up finely anyway. If you don't have fresh thyme, you could also use the dried variety. I'm also going to chop up some pecans. If you don't have pecans, you can use walnuts or even almonds or maybe even sunflower seeds instead. I think any of those would be delicious in this dish. The next step for our stuffing is to heat up some vegan butter in a pan on the stove. And then we are going to add our celery and scallions and thyme to the butter and let that cook a little bit until the onions start to soften. I'm also adding some poultry seasoning and don't worry, poultry seasoning does not contain any poultry. It is the seasoning used to season the poultry. So when you add it to a dish like this, it adds an element that um, is reminiscent of a dish that would have chicken in it. So now I'm adding my brown rice, which I pre-cooked. I always cook this in my instant pot, but you can also do it on the stove top. You can even make it the day before or a couple of days before to save you some time, which is what I did. And then I added my pecans to that and I'm just going to stir that around and cook it for about five minutes just to start to absorb the flavors. And then I'm adding that orange juice and cranberry marinade to the whole thing. And this is just really flavorful and makes a really great alternative to a bread stuffing. And since we were having tofu, I figured tofu and rice just go really well together. And this really did work. It was very delicious. So now that our stuffing is all made, we'll return to the tofu, which has been marinating for a while. And I have three dishes here, one with cornstarch or flour, um, one with plant-based milk, and another one with panko breadcrumbs that I added some more of that fresh thyme to. So you can see I am first dipping it in the cornstarch or the flour. You can use either one and I'm not sure which one I used here, um, but cornstarch works especially well. And then you dip it into the milk and then you bread it with the breadcrumbs. And the reason you do it in this order is it just helps the breadcrumbs stick and it makes a really nice crispy coating when it's done baking. And this is so good. It is something that you are going to end up wanting to make any time of week, you know, beyond the holidays, it just makes a really great family meal. So those are all ready to go into the oven and I cooked them at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And now we can move on to our gravy. I just added the rest of the marinade from the tofu 
and then two cups of vegetable broth, which I did the same way that I did with the um, marinade where I dissolved the bouillon with some hot water. And then again, I'm adding some poultry seasoning and some of this um, umami mushroom blend that is from Trader Joe's. It's so delicious. And I'm also adding some nutritional yeast. And then I am adding some all-purpose flour just to thicken up the gravy. And it does thicken up pretty quick, but when you're adding the flour, you want to make sure that you get all the lumps out. So I started stirring it with a fork here and that just wasn't doing the job. So I started using an actual whisk and this is definitely what I recommend for mixing this up really well. And you just want to keep stirring it until it starts to thicken and gets nice and bubbly. But as long as you have it on the stove, you want to keep stirring it every once in a while so it doesn't um, just get thick and goopy. <laughs> but you can also just go ahead and transfer it to a gravy serving vessel. Not sure what you call those, a gravy... Um, if you know what I'm talking about, leave it in the comments. So there's our final spread with our delicious and crispy tofu cutlets. And I'm adding some gravy here, but you can also leave the gravy boat on the table so people can add as much as they want. It also tastes really great with the rice stuffing and of course would be great on mashed potatoes, which I didn't make this time, but you know, you're always welcome to add mashed potatoes to this meal. There's our delicious brown rice stuffing and of course our little pesto stuffed mushrooms. This really made a lovely dinner for our family and is great for any holiday either as your main meal or just as sides. I also added some cranberry sauce which I have a separate video and recipe for um, on my channel and the recipe is on the blog. I'll leave the link in the description box below for all of these recipes. These are things that you can make anytime. It doesn't even have to be a holiday. These make a great family meal or appetizers for any kind of gathering that you're going to. And I know you're gonna love them. They were really delicious and my family especially love these tofu cutlets. They can definitely be made anytime for any family meal, any time of the week or the month or the year. So if you liked this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment and share this video with a friend. I would really appreciate it if you do and watch more of my videos. I'll have links here at the end and in the description box below. So I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving and I will see you in the next video. Peace.